Power 92. We are number one in the streets. Man, Nafis. It's a legendary night, man. Anytime you could have the legend. Legend. Legend with a capital L. I, I'd like to capitalize every word, you know, in every little letter in that word. Man. Talk heavy. You know what it is, man. The legendary trackster is in the building yeah. right now. The real radio. My man, been a long time, man. It has been quite long, right? I'm glad to to be here with y'all. Thank y'all for having me. Ferris, Nafis, uh, shout out to Bam, whole Power 92 crew. Um, I appreciate the love. Man, you know it's an honor to have you here. And, and oh my God, you, you're responsible for like so many people's career. You, you're responsible for the sound of Chicago, point blank period. I can remember... You know, when when the hip hop scene exploded, you know, here in Chicago, when we first got on, it was all about about you. Let let these young ones know where you where you started, some of the records that you did that are legendary. They need to know. We're gonna educate the young ones right now. Big facts. Okay, so you know, I'm from 71st and Woodline, Pocket Town. Shout out Pocket Town. Yeah. Um, started making music in the hood, eventually started producing to make the ends meet. My first big record was uh, Poe Pimp by Do or Die. Oof, ah. um, then I came with a player like uh, You and Me. <laughs> Rest in peace, Johnny P. You know, yes, he sir. always, he, he laced every record he was on. Mm -hmm. um, and then uh, we ended up doing Adrenaline Rush. Um, I produced Adrenaline Rush in its entirety. Um, and that was a, a good look. You know, I, I was thinking about it recently because Adrenaline Rush had its 25th anniversary. Yeah. And um, that was really my first album I produced in its entirety. So that was like my introduction into the music business as uh, who I would become, you know what I'm saying? So, And then I went on to do other stuff. I did uh, My Chick Bad by uh, Ludacris and Nicki Minaj. I did a record for Mariah Carey on Emancipation of Mimi. Uh, I did more records with Twister, Weta, uh, Make a Movie with Chris Brown. Um, I recently co-produced the uh, Beyonce... Um, uh, what is it called? Uh, he do that much. Cuffing. He <laughs> Cuffing. forgot the Beyonce. Yeah, yeah. How, how'd you how'd you feel? You know how how'd you feel? Actually, that was put together by somebody on social media on the internet. They yeah. had put that together as a mashup, mm -hmm. and, and so for you to be able to you know take it to the next level and actually make it a, a Beyonce joint. How did that feel, man? It felt great. I mean, you know, I sent over the files when they requested them, mm -hmm. uh, but it was already you know. Magic, right? Yeah. Um, so I just, you know, went in the vault and, and got the rec, pulled the record up, and then the funny thing is, um, her studio is not too far from my studio in L.A. Mm -hmm. um, and in order to clear it, I had to go listen to it. And um, when I got to the building, uh, you know, I wasn't prepared. They wanted me to take a COVID test and all of this, so I was kind of like, "Yo, you just can't <laughs> drop that on me, like <laughs> stick something in your nose." So uh, they ended up bringing the record outside to the car. And when I heard the record, whatever I was feeling about what was going on was out of there. I was, mm -hmm. you know, I was ready to hug the lady. <laughs> like, you know, it was such an incredible record. So it, it felt incredible to hear uh, Beyonce over, you know, attracts the beat. Yeah. And, and here we are right now today, all these years later, what inspired you to, to put together, you know, your own new album? What inspired you to do that? Well, um, I think, you know, I wanted to do, I always do legendary tracks to albums. Sometimes I'm rhyming, sometimes, uh, you know, I do. I did compilations back in the day, mm -hmm. Seawall Ballers, all of those records. Yes, sir. Um, but this time, you know, I had the idea, I was working on it, and then I had this idea, man, I should name the album Chicago. I was talking to my wife, who was here in the building with me. Yes. Because um, I knew that word would evoke a lot of emotion, right? Mm -hmm. Like, you know, some people love Chicago, some people you know, ready to ride, get out of Chicago. So, and then, you know, I knew it was a whole new generation of artists and I'm like, they gonna wonder, why would he name his album Chicago? Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Who The ones who don't know me. So um, then I started putting the beats together and I realized, man, I got a lot of different types of beats. You know what I'm saying? Different moments that I was producing, hip hop, my vintage tracks to style, experimenting. And then I was like, man, this would be a great opportunity to reach out to some new artists, yeah. some of my, you know, traditional collaborators and just put together 
you know, a record with all Chicago artists powered by Chicago. You know what I'm saying? Wow. That sounds like a real, like, <laughs> That's passion piece. That's How you heavy. go about choosing these artists, though? Because, you know, Chicago's so diverse. You know, there's so many different eras in Chicago that's booming. Like, how are you to become the glue to, like, put everything together? And, like, how you even choose who makes this legendary Trackster project? Well, I think I let, you know, some of it was just, like, organic, right? Who reached out to me? You know, I saw people liking, as I was working on and posting the video, certain people would like the post. And I'd be like, oh, that might be good. But it was really about who I had an idea for. You mm -hmm. know what I'm saying? Because I've worked with so many artists um, in Chicago. And I know it's a lot of artists that's probably a little upset that they, they didn't make the cut of you this You the next one. <laughs> <laughs> right? And I'm gonna, talk, I'm gonna speak on that because a lot of people, a few people were disgruntled about the concept of the deluxe version. But, um, you know, one artist that I met with before I came out here yesterday was Kanye. Mm -hmm. And I took some uh, tracks to the studio. He wanted to hear, he heard about the album, he wanted to hear the album. And right on the spot, he recorded like two records, right? Wow. So I didn't want to pull back the release date even though I was considering it, just to get him on it. But the fact that we we working on those records, the the uh, I don't call it the the deluxe, I call it the update. Yeah, it's gonna be crazy. Crazy. Right? Okay. <laughs> I see you got an A and B side, side so you yeah. know it's flooded with music. I oh. can't wait to hear about all the artists that's on there. But we're gonna have to go to commercial in a minute. But before we do, can we get a sneak peek of a banger though? Yeah, yeah. What, what, can we? Yeah, what can we drop right now? Let's drop uh, this Twister record. Of course, you know Twister and me made our bones together. So this is Twister Natural. All right, let's get it. You heard it first right here at Real Radio, Power 92. World premiere. Yes, sir. Let's go. Yeah, that's how we like Pops. it. Pops. She ain't got to have a BBL and all that, man. Pops. Ah, I like it natural. Pops. You know what I'm saying? Woo I'll take the little dents in the booty. And stuff. Yes, sir. I don't discriminate, man. Hey. Facts. Light skin with the big forehead, edges missing, all of that, man. You feel me? I'm rocking with it. That's some real player like those tracks. I'm rocking with that heavy. I appreciate no that. doubt. Appreciate Natural that. off the brand new album, Chicago. The legendary tracks is in the building. We are Power 92, number one in the streets. Cats, where we number one at tonight? Bro, you already know they tapping in heavy over East. Let's go. Believe that. You from over East, right? I am. That's yes, why they sir. tapping in heavy. They tapping in real heavy <laughs> over East. Hey, big shout out to all the Uber and Lyft drivers that keep us turned on and turned up every day. We appreciate you, no doubt. It's real radio legendary night with the legendary tracks the brand new album chicago it's actually out right now right it is it just dropped i saw it on apple music yep um so i know it's a few people out there enjoying it right now uh Take a minute, listen to this interview, then go listen to the rest of yeah, it. Yeah, so hold on, hold on, hold on. But if you're from Chicago and, and you love your city, you definitely got to represent. Go stream that album, buy that album, run the numbers up, no doubt. We we not done, though. We just gave you a little sneak, little peek of the joint with Twist, right? Who was on Who was on the hook on that joint? Uh, that's Grits, actually. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, he, he came in. My wife wrote the hook. Um, wow, he came wow. in to uh, demo it for me. And uh, write the harmonies because because they had collaborated on another Twister record. So when he came in and he demoed it and started doing those harmonies, I, after a while I was like, Nah, he's on the record. Yeah, <laughs> you know yeah. what I'm saying? Perfect. Like yeah. it Fine. fit perfect. Fine. It, it definitely fit perfect. We we are not done, y'all. We not done. We got more coming up. More the Chicago album. We're gonna talk more with tracks to no doubt. Just give us you know a couple of seconds. We we'll be right back. All right. We that's nasty right there. Ooh, let them talk know the, heavy, ladies. Let them know the name of that joint again, man. It's called Calling You, uh, Shana and Tia London. <sighs> I'm trying to call Shana, uh, Shana right now. After the <laughs> yeah. Woo. Shana, Woo. you went crazy. <laughs> but Shana ain't never stopped. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, she that, been that's grinding. That's what she do. Facts. For real. Definitely been doing that for a minute. We got 30 joints on this project, man. Yeah, I mean, check it out. It's, it's a lot of, uh, you know, I tried to capture, you know, the history of Chicago hip hop in a way, right? Like. Mm -hmm. Um, you got people like Juice on there. I got records that's that style. You know what I'm saying? Lupe went absolutely bananas. Oh, man, I could imagine. <laughs> right? Absolutely bananas. Of course. Um, you know, everybody, you know, it was funny because one thing that uh, everybody said who's listened to the project is everybody gave me their best, right? Mm -hmm. It wasn't like people came and was like, oh, this is a compilation or, you know, looked at it. They knew it was a tracks the album and yep. they felt like they had to live up to. Uh, a standard in that way, right? And they gave me their best. Damn and, right. And it's reflected in the project. You know what I'm saying? Like, Buck got a Buck went insane. Like everybody went crazy, right? Yeah. Um, and I was, you know, I, I really enjoy the record myself. 
You know what I'm saying? When I listen to it. You know how you work on something that long, you get tired, tired of it. Tired of tired of hearing it. Nah. I, I I listen to it. I'm still listening to it and I've been living with it, mixed it, did all of that, and still, you know what I'm saying? It's incredible. They know they had to come with it because, like, Chicago got such a cultural impact on, like, the world, especially the hip-hop, like, community. So I'm curious, like, with this, uh, the title Chicago, what's the impact? What do you hope to do, uh, bring out? Like, what's the message there? So the message, what the message evolved into, right, uh, is this concept of, you know, because think about it. This is powered by Chicago, right? Mm -hmm. This is creatives. Although, you know, I'm an astute businessman, I'm a creative first, right? And um, I reached out to the artist. It wasn't a lot of management in the way. And you know what I'm saying? It was like one-on-one contact. Hey, you like this beat? Write something. You know what I'm saying? And and, and we got the record done. And I think, you know, there's always been this stigma of like Chicago doesn't work together or, Mm -hmm. you know, everybody hate on each other. And I think this record dispels that belief now, right? Because it was nothing but love in this process, right? Everybody, um, you know, gave me their best, was there when I called on them, um, you know, went through the process with me. You got to remember, Buck recorded eight months ago. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? He had to wait eight months Mm -hmm. for everybody else to finish, you know what I'm saying? And he waited patiently, uh, count the same way. So it's like... um, you know, the message here is, and my message to Chicago is, keep it going. You know what I'm saying? If I can do this, um, let's keep this spirit that's on this record of collaboration mm-hmm. and music and being yourself and not trying to be like somebody else and and, and, um, and really, you know, working with people in a space. Because I got a record with uh, uh, Kia Got a Chopper and Vic Spencer. You know what I'm saying? That's, <laughs> those are two different worlds. Right. I know, you know they both went crazy. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. So I think that there's so much we could do uh, as a creative community um, if we just um, get out of the the whole standoffish. Mm-hmm. Um, you know, even Fair saying he wanted to hit me. You should have hit me, G. Gotta put them I should have e- hit you. Egos but, to the side. You know what I'm saying? But that's what I mean. Like we got to get past that because. Um, we can do a lot now. We got social media. We got, you know, dis- worldwide distribution. We could be doing so much more. Um, we got studio. I got a studio sitting in front of me right now in my laptop. You know what mm-hmm. I'm saying? So yeah. it's like we can do so much more. And who knows if this opportunity is going to be here forever. Right. 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 So now's the time. You know what I'm saying? Make records. Do business. Um, and, uh, you know, support each other. Because if I can get... 30 artists on a record mm-hmm. to rock with me, then, and, and it's still another hundred, <laughs> you know what I'm saying, that I, that I couldn't get to, then I think, um, you know, y'all gotta get to them, you know what I'm saying? And, and, and we should all keep this spirit going. And that's my contribution um, to the city right now. And that's prolific. Believe that, I, ain't, I didn't even have to ask the question, what would you tell the up and coming? Cause you just, <laughs> you just laid it out right then and there, man. Once again, the brand new album is out right now. Chicago, it's a double album. Double. You put in some work, man. Uh, Double album produced entirely by me, right? So Mm. (laughs) I wonder if that's the first uh, first for hip hop, like uh, the first major producer to do an entire Entire double album. album by itself. Yeah. No collaboration, no No beats or nothing. That's another question. How do you feel about the current state of rap music and hip hop? How do you feel the current state of it? Um, I think... I think there's a lot of things um, contributing to some of the negativity in Mm -hmm. hip hop. But, um, you know, both things can exist at the same time, right? You cannot like somebody. This is one of the lessons that we got to learn, right? You cannot personally like somebody and that shouldn't interfere with business, Business. right? So one of the things that I think, especially if I just speak about Chicago, um, you know, we've always, always had a gang culture, right? And music was supposed to be an ascension from gang culture, right? Not um, bringing it into business. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So I feel like, um, I, and you know, I understand that I'm from the pocket, so I, you know what I'm saying? I understand how everybody feels. I know when certain things happen and it's b- bad blood is created and you really can't get past that, right? Mm-hmm. But I also understand that we, you know, we have to use music as a haven from the streets. You know what I'm saying? And try to um, 
you know, even if you don't rock with them, understand that when we're in these professional situations, mm -hmm. this ain't the time and place for that. You know Agree to disagree. That's right. Respect. Yeah, yeah. you know what I'm saying? So I, I think, but other than that, I think it's a great time for creatives, right? Like, just like I said, I'm, I'm in a whole nother city 2,000 miles away mm -hmm. and doing a session here, you know what I'm saying? So let's seize this opportunity in this moment. You got all these young artists, you know what I'm saying, who, with all this passion, um, you know, that need, you know, the, the OG's guidance, you know what I'm saying? Um, and maybe maybe not creatively, but at least then, you know, you've had a, a long, illustrious career, right? No and, doubt. Um, you got a lot of wisdom that you can share with people. Yes, you know sir. what I'm saying? And um, when the young people teach the older people, the older people move faster. And when the older people teach the younger people, they move faster, Big right? Facts. So it's got to be that community and... Um, yeah, I mean, I, th I think it's a huge opportunity, and I, and Chicago is a, is a example of somebody seizing the opportunity, right? All of these artists, everybody dope, everybody, you know, what I'm saying a bunch of independent artists that control their own music. Let's do something, right? And uh, I think that's encouraging for everybody to, you know, uh, uh, look at the music business right now and understand you can make a song somebody can hear it on the other side of the world mm -hmm. the same day that yep. you make it. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And um, they can listen to it and you get paid, they can listen to it for free and you get paid for it. This has never happened before. True. And it's a huge opportunity we, we gotta seize before it goes away. And that's what makes this project and what you're doing prolific, no Chicago. Doubt. How no. can they tap in with you, make sure they stream that, run that up and all that? Yeah, I mean, you know, Anytime you put in tracks, the T-R-A-X-S-T-E-R, um, whether it's Instagram, Spotify, Apple Music, you'll get to my page, right? Okay. Um, but yeah, wherever you hang out on the internet, just find my page and follow me. And and, and uh, I understand how important content is. That's, that's something else I did with this project that I put out a lot of content around it. We captured a lot of stuff. And um, so, you know, follow my pages because there's going to be content. And, 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 and from now on, about around whatever I'm doing. Okay, we we know we're not calling it deluxe. What do we call in the next one? The update. The update. When the <laughs> update is ready to come, I want you to bring the update, bring a bunch of songs, and let's come back and do this again. Absolutely. I bring I bring because this is gonna be some special records on there. Okay, let's do this. We setting the date right now, so we need you here. I'll be back we, July 14th. Right, let's. Let, let's do it. Let's do it. No doubt. Go get the album right now. Chicago is out. The legendary track. So you know we are Power 92, number one in the streets. Big shout out to all the Uber and Lyft drivers that keep us turned on and turned up every day. We appreciate you and bump that Chicago album tracks that you already know we gonna go crazy for you thank you for bringing back that good music to the city of Chicago we will see you hopefully on the 14th of July we doing make this make them again. stand on it alright <laughs> y'all sure. know what it is 773-375-9248 for the vibe DJ Nath is coming back with the bangers you know what it is Shy town put the guns down respect life and rock with power thank you Traxter alright power 92 92.3 FM